And so the gay community said, he's comparing gay sex to incest and polygamy. How dare he do this? And they have gone out on a, and I would argue, the word jihad against Rick Santorum since then. Uh, Senator, what's all this about a gay jihad? What do you, what do you mean by that? Well, I, you know, a lot has been written about this. I don't need to, you know, uh, give a lot of uh, airtime to folks who have been uh, rather vile in the way that they have attacked me and attacked the positions that I've held, distorted the positions I've held uh, on the issue of marriage in America. And uh, they have, in fact, distorted the, the, uh, the, the thing that I just talked about, which is that I was talking about a United States Supreme Court case on the issue uh, of, uh, of, of marriage and what, it, well, what, it, what that court decision would be with respect to uh, how it would play out with respect to marriage. And um, the, the quote that I have been, quote, criticized for was almost identical to a quote in a 1986 Supreme Court case where the majority decision basically said exactly what I said. And by the way, the minority, uh, Justice Scalia in this case, it was Justice White, who was a Democrat uh, appointee under John Kennedy, who said what I, pretty much exactly what I said. And Justice Scalia pretty much said exactly what I said, which is that if, uh, if, if the Supreme Court establishes a right to consensual sexual activity, then it's hard to draw the line between what consensual activity can, is going to be uh, permitted under the Constitution, and it leaves open a long list of consensual activities that, uh, that most people, I think, would find uh, rather unappealing. And so uh, that's what I said. I stand by the comment, uh, just like I'm sure Justice Scalia and Justice White stood by their comments. Well, look, let's clarify a few things. Do you think that homosexuality is a sin? Well, that's a, that's a decision not for a politician. That's a decision for uh, someone who uh, is a cleric. I, I don't, I'm not in that, uh, in that line of work. Um, the line of work I'm in is to, uh, there are a lot of things in society that are, that are, quote, sins or moral wrongs that we don't make illegal. Uh, just because something is immoral or something that is wrong doesn't mean that it should be illegal uh, and that the federal government or any, any level of government should involve themselves in. in. The case that I was talking about that uh, started, started the controversy, the, the, uh, the case was uh, uh, Lawrence versus Texas. I said if I was a state legislator in the state of Texas dealing with the Texas sodomy law, I would have voted against it because I, didn't, I don't think that that's something that uh, the state should involve itself in. But uh, the bottom line is whether, whether the court then has the right to create new rights, and in creating new rights, it opens up, in my opinion, Pandora's box, which it did in the case of the Goodrich decision in Massachusetts, which led to gay marriage in Massachusetts, gay marriage yeah, in Iowa, sir, and a sir. whole host of other states. Let me stop you there. You, you, you keep referring back to this quite complex case. That's fine. But actually, there are some simple arguments here. And Michelle Bachman has raised this whole thing as a huge hot potato. Christine O'Donnell walked off my show when I asked her about same-sex marriage. So these are perfectly justified questions. And you are, I believe, a Catholic. So you must have a view yes. about whether homosexuality is a sin. I think if American uh, people are going to want to vote for you either way, as president, they are entitled to know an honest answer to a straightforward question. You did invite me to ask you any well, question I liked. Yeah, I, I, I did. And of course, the, the Catholic Church teaches that homosexuality is a sin. I'm a Catholic and I subscribe to the Catholic Church's teaching. Uh, but that's not relevant from the standpoint of how I, how I view these issues from a public policy point of view. And that's why I answered the question the way I did. From a public policy point of view, there are a lot of things that I find immorally uh, morally wrong or as you would use the term sinful that don't necessarily rise to the level of the that government should be involved in regulating that activity and so I answered it correctly I answered it in, in fact succinctly and directly that while I think things were morally wrong that doesn't rise to the level of government involvement in that in that activity how many how many sons do you have we have four boys and three girls how would you feel if one of your sons turned around to you one day and said dad I'm gay I would embrace them, love them, and try to help them through what I would uh, see as a very difficult and, and, and troubling time in their lives. I, I know uh, a lot of gay people, and uh, I know a lot, of, a lot of the folks that I've talked to uh, who have uh, gone through this, go through a lot of very difficult times in their lives and, and coming to that decision and struggling with it even, even after admitting it. So this is, this is a difficult issue, and I understand it's difficult issues, and my job as a father is to love my son unconditionally, which I do and would, and uh, would continue to do what I could to support him so he could uh, live a good and, and uh, healthy and decent and faithful life.
But I guess one of the reasons why it's so troubling and difficult for people to come out is because of the level of bigotry that's out there against them. Um, and I have to say that you know, your views that you've espoused on this issue are bordering on bigotry, aren't they? Uh, no, I, I think just because we disagree uh, on public policy, which is what the, what the, the debate has been about, which is marriage, uh, doesn't mean that it's bigotry. Just because you follow a, a, uh, a moral code that teaches us something wrong uh, doesn't mean that, are you suggesting that, they, that the Bible and that the Catholic Church is, is bigoted? Well, if, if that's what you believe, fine. I, don't, I, I think that uh, 2000, well, I shouldn't say not fine. I don't think it's fine at all. I think, I think that is, uh, uh, that, that's contrary to, to both um, uh, what we've seen in 2000 years of, of human history and Western civilization and, and trying to redefine something that, that has been, that is seen as wrong. Uh, it, from the standpoint of the church and saying a church is bigoted because it holds that opinion that is biblically based, I think is in itself its act of bigotry. Well, I'm a Catholic too, and I, I just think that unfortunately uh, we're in a different era now. We're in a modern world, and the fact that you now have I don't think that Pierce, Bibles Pierce, Pierce. I don't think I don't think the truth changes. I don't think right and wrong change based on different eras of time. Things are, there's some truths that are in fact eternal and, 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 are, and are truth and based on nature and nature's law. And that's what, uh, that's what uh, the church teaches, that's what the Bible teaches, and that's what reason dictates. And if you look at, all, look at it from all of those perspectives, I think it's a legitimate point of view. I certainly respect people who disagree with it, but I don't call them bigoted because they disagree with me.